There were so many relatives in court today, the seats reserved for family were packed out. They'd come to hear evidence about Suzanne Davy, described as loving and caring, and her partner Scott Chalkley with his infectious laugh and cheeky grin. That's how Suzanne's son wants them to be remembered. Very feisty person, but a very sort of go-lucky happy person as well. And obviously a very loving mother. Losing such a key figure in our family life has affected all of us really. But again, you're just sort of waiting for the, the dust to settle. And 18 months later we're here and hopefully it can settle for good now. Suzanne and Scott had been on their sunbeds when the gunman walked onto the beach and opened fire. The court heard he hit them from 20 feet away. They would have died very quickly. Cheryl Meller, on the right, was shot that day too, but her husband didn't make it. Cheryl and Steve had been happily married for 10 years. In a statement read by a lawyer, she described the moment they realised what was happening. Steve and I got down on the ground between the loungers. We were shaking with fear and clutching each other. We were saying, oh my God, I love you. She said the gunman, Sefadin Rezgui, looked at them as he reloaded. When Steve climbed on top of Cheryl to protect her, he fired. I'm only here today due to the bravery of Steve, she said. We were being shot and he saved me. He sacrificed himself. Steve is a hero to me. Lives were changed forever on that beach in Tunisia. Each day of this inquest is revealing more harrowing stories. Tessa Chapman, Five News.